Alrighty folks, hello and welcome everyone back to Adobe Live. Uh, my name is Voodoo Val and I am going to be your host yet again for the Adobe Live design off. I'm super excited um, to jump into what we have planned today. Um, and I'm joined by my new friend, Selena. How are you, Selena? Are you doing good today? Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, so my name is Selena. I am a designer, illustrator, and lettering artist based in Texas. I am doing fine. I'm excited for this uh, live stream. Nice. Let's get started. Yes, yes, yes. We're super pumped. We've been hanging out behind the scenes, chilling and and chatting about uh, art and 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 life and things like that. Um, and we are pumped for all of you folks to kind of get involved in what we're doing today. So for anyone who has never been here for a, a design off segment, basically what I do is I get to chill and hang out with super awesome designers um, every week. And we design and create according to a theme that we choose together and invite all of you folks to design with us. Um, so like every week, if you um, use the hashtag Adobe Live design off um, and do some illustrations or UI UX design or hand lettering and stuff with us, you can post to Twitter or Instagram um, and I will actually be pulling up social media towards the end of tomorrow's stream to take a look at everything you folks have designed with us, uh, which is super cool. We've got a lot of familiar faces um, in the chat too, by the way. I see Robert, I see Sam Peterson, our trusty mod, here with the uh, the magical band hammer to keep us safe in the in the chat. Um, I see Michelle, um, Melancholy Megan, who is like my kindred spirit, because I'm Voodoo Val and she's Melancholy Megan, and together we like wonder twin up to be like the super edgy sisters. That's <laughs> how I like to how I like to think about it. We got Joe, we got Kerwin, uh, we got um, Sumia, uh, Elizabeth. Thank you all so much for popping into the chat. You are awesome. So um, our theme for today, um, we've decided we're gonna do um, some some just positive, feel good um, hand lettering kind of stuff today. Um, just keeping good vibes flowing while we're all working from home because it's kind of a weird time. It's kind of scary and strange, um, and I think. Too. I'm going to pop over here to our dual stream so everyone can see our workspaces. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, you and I were talking about behind the scenes, Selena, is kind of how nerve wracking it can be to, to do new things creatively, right? Yeah. Um, it yeah, feels really weird. <laughs> <laughs> which I think we're both really kind of give a taste of like you're streaming today and I'm doing hand lettering. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to figure this out. So it makes me feel a little bit better. We're both trying new things today. Yes. Yes. We're both kind of jumping out of our comfort yeah. zone. Um, I, I challenge folks in the chat to jump out of your comfort zones a little bit too. Uh, maybe if you've never tried hand lettering, why don't you, why don't you send us uh, some sketches of some attempts? I'm going to, I'm going to get to work right now. Um, and you can kind of jump into your sketch too, Selena. I, I'm kind of oh, eager okay. to see like how you work and learn from you um, because I just love your portfolio so much. It seems oh, like so you. whimsical and awesome. Thank you so much. And Melancholy Megan is saying wonder twins activate. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> for jumping in on my nerd joke there. I love it. Um, are there any hand letterers in the chat? Um, and how many folks in the chat today are currently doing things um, that are a little nerve wracking from them? Like, has anyone started any new projects lately that are different? Um, is anyone kind of maybe jumping into uh, a new kind of work um, that they maybe have never tried before. I know a lot of us are working in very different spaces these days um, mm -hmm. and learning how to kind of like revamp how we like function in a work environment, right? I think, um, I think a lot of us find ourselves feeling a little awkward. So I would love to know if anyone just has worries or thoughts or feelings on that because I know I do all the time. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I really do. I think um, I, 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 I have been posting like projects and stuff lately, um, especially today, where I, it's a new thing for me. Um, I've said on stream before, I really love uh, painting, but I, 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 used, I wrote stories before I painted and I finally was like, I'm going to, I'm going to finish a, a, a story. I'm going to post a story that the world can see 
and I, I actually got so kind of scared to post a project today that my hand was like hovering over the tweet button and I was like, what if I'm actually really bad at this? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do you ever feel like that like when you go to make a post and you're like I've been doing this I've been making a living at this I kind of know for what a I'm long doing time. yeah 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 for sure like there's there are times where I kind of just like really doubt myself before I post especially something that um I'm trying or something that's new that I haven't tried before I always really kind of like oh are people even gonna think this is good like <laughs> yeah yeah. Am, I, am I even a good illustrator or a letterer? I don't know. Maybe. Have people been joking with me my entire career. Can <laughs> yeah. I do this? Yeah, I, I, I think it I think it's more prevalent um, than a lot of people think too. I think um, like when you when you follow folks online and you see their work and if you're if you if you idolize them in some way or like you you think like wow this person is is artistically where i want to be in my own art journey you you, you kind of like put them on a pedestal in your mind um and i've had people message me and say hey you know your art is cool and i'm like wow somebody liked somebody liked it enough <laughs> to tell me that's crazy yeah that's or i nuts. love when i love whenever i make something and then i get Sometimes people DM me and there's this one guy who like sent like this big, like it was pretty much a novel, but he was just like, I felt, I felt so connected and I don't know why I'm telling you this. And he told me like his whole life story and like Aww. everything that was happening to him. And I just felt like, hey, like I'm so glad that, you know, I was able to do that for you and that you were able to look at my art and kind of connect with it and mm -hmm. then feel comfortable enough to message me because I really, I love messages like that. So we talked for a bit and I was just like, look, you know, like whenever he started saying that, um, like, oh, I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. I'm like, no, sometimes you just need somebody to listen. Like, and you're I'm making so my day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was great. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I, I, I was, I've, I've said before too, but I, I try to do that as well, just because it wasn't until somebody did it to me as an artist that I was like, oh man like you really never know how you affect people and and somebody just like saying a few kind words like it makes all the difference and i don't think people realize how much folks need it who maybe seem super established you know um we got sam peterson in the chat saying for sure um both currently freelance projects are a touch out of my comfort zone big ambitious battle illustrations and some essentially prop and asset design um so sam looks like sam is, is doing like a huge project and he feels a a little a little nervous a little a little odd about it um mm -hmm. that's that's about how my project's going is i i am not a landscape painter i am like predominantly like a character illustrator i paint a lot of like female portraits and monsters um and i do props which is like um uh for those of you who are not familiar with like game design and stuff Prop design is like the items, like, you know, things that you might find in like your inventory or like maybe if you're doing uh, an illustration for like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign or something, you might um, find that your, uh, that your characters need like, you know, an illustration of like a sword or a shield or something like that, you know, yeah. and um, so you would illustrate that. And that's, that's usually what I do. Um, but I'm going to be painting like landscapes and stuff and I spent so much time on them. But then that weird anxiety comes in where I'm like, what if it looks so bad by comparison to other people that I shouldn't post it? Um, and then you have to remember, like we were talking about today, like sometimes there's just like bad Val at the back of my head that's like you are bad yeah. and I'm like no I'm not though like I don't think I'm bad I think someone would have told me if I was bad um but you gotta kind of push you gotta push bad Val out of your head guys yeah those negative <laughs> thoughts just need to go away because for the most part I think we as artists I think are the most critical of ourselves and oh, our yeah. work so mm -hmm. and I do that I do that to myself all the time I'll like I'll draw I'll draw something and I'll sit on it for days and just wonder is this should I make something with this or mm -hmm. should I just like a it in the back somewhere? Yep. I, 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 sometimes I'm like, I'll, yeah. I will work super, super hard on a painting. Um, and then 
I will think to myself, like, wow, I'm finally done. I got all of this out of the way. And then mm -hmm. I will think, is it really bad, though? And then I'll worry. And then I found a post yesterday um, that I thought, like, summed this up per perfectly. And I think I might actually show this post. Um, I, I, I found a post yesterday that was like, sometimes an artist's life is exactly like this and it was so relatable and it made me feel great actually like it made me feel really good um to see it so i'm gonna i'm gonna pull this over here sometimes it's just like this and it's this girl um who is like got her hand her head in her hand and she's drawing she looks really sad and then mm -hmm. she kind of stops and she's like wait a minute and then she's like what the heck? It's not that bad. <laughs> like, like she just has this epiphany about her own work. She's like, wait a second, this is kind of good. I'm, um, you know, yeah. like I'm kind of doing a good job. And I thought about that and I was like, you know what? That does happen to me yeah. you know, sometimes. And when I'm working through the worst part of like my okay. painting, it's really easy for me to forget that I might just be going through like the, the, the cruddy early stage and not really, yeah. you know, I just need to stick with it and don't be so hard on myself. Yeah, the same. Like right now, I'm so frustrated. I'm frustrated with myself because I just can't get a handle on like an angle that like I can really draw with. So, uh -huh. I mean, I'm just trying to like, all right, let it go and just move on as best I can. I don't know what's going on maybe because I never, I never actually draw like this. I'm going to put this flat. Yeah, do that. Do that. Do what's comfortable. I so so here's a that's a great that's a great point what you just said. So sometimes when we jump into new projects, right? We do something like you're not really very familiar with with like tons mm -hmm. of streaming constantly. It's something that, you know, maybe makes you a little bit uncomfortable. And so you're getting prepared, you're sitting down, you're going to do this stream and you're like, "I should do it like this because I'm doing like a new thing." But then you're kind of like you know what, I just need to do what makes me comfortable, you know, what, what works best for you. And I think I do that a lot. When I set out to do something new that I'm uncomfortable with, I will sit there and like try to force myself to organize differently or to like sit differently or whatever, because it's like a new thing. And then yeah. I'm like, why did I put myself through the stress? Why didn't I just do what comes natural to me in the first place? And it's better if you do it, you know? So yeah, that makes that so much sense. It's better, it's better to just go with what, like what you're used to doing and what you know, because it's not, yep. it's just not going to come out the same. I feel like. Yep. And it, and it, and it can feel like, I feel like you can, you can almost trick yourself into, um, maybe believing that you're not good at something by putting strange constraints on yourself. Um, in that way, if that makes mm -hmm. sense, you know, like, um, if you, if, if you, um, worry yourself over something like so much, you can sometimes like stop yourself from succeeding at something because you, you convince yourself eventually, um, that maybe something is like, like terrible and hard to do, or maybe it is like, you know, this or that. Um, but sometimes if you just calm down and like take a breath and, maybe take a step back and, and really look at what you're doing and approach it calmly, um, then it's, it's a lot better. Um, and I'm going to be like, in essence of that, yeah. I'm going to be lettering, um, keep calm and work from home, I think is what I'm going to, what I'm going to end up doing. And I don't I, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to draw a K right now and I've never mm -hmm. illustrated a K like a letter K. <laughs> so I was trying to do a K earlier and I just got frustrated with it. So I'm trying to write the word keep, but I'm going from like, I'm going backwards just because I got frustrated with the K. So I started with the P and I'm going backwards. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Awesome. Okay. As long as I'm not the only one. Yeah, no, I just got, I got frustrated and I was like, no, this is not happening right now. We're going to switch things up a bit and see what happens here. <laughs> Let's see, um, we got some other people talking about their projects. Jana says, I'm working on a vid, which is driving me nuts. I know how that feels. Um, Joe says, I'm giving a lecture on design fundamentals on Saturday. That's a little nerve wracking, like doing a speech. Yeah. I can I can see that. Um, 
Uh, Odari says, I'm currently writing a sci-fi graphic novel, homeschooling my son and granddaughters and working on art in my office. It usually t makes my art game better, loving every minute. You Look at you. You're like yeah. a superhero. That's awesome. That sounds that great. That is awesome. Um, Joe is saying self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, like, you know, um, you can you can totally like accidentally self-fulfill like, like a fear, I think. Um, when you uh when you worry about about stuff and and uh kind of like like bring it to fruition essentially um when it didn't have to be that way so i i think um sometimes practicing like just speaking kindly to yourself is uh yeah is a pretty good self affirmations idea. all the way yep so keep calm guys keep calm and keep calm and work from home um or i also um uh prefer like keep calm and be a nerd because that's about that's a, that's about the story of my life it's like all right i'm fine i'm nervous as heck right now but maybe if i just uh -huh. go watch star wars i'll feel better um and i usually do keep calm <laughs> oh, man. man i'm master this uh, i mean whatever you know what i like that though it's very like it's very like psychedelic like I'm, I'm actually really digging it to be perfectly Thank honest. You. Um, I'm kind of like right now, I'm just like drawing. Um, uh, so you're, wait. you're, you're writing, keep calm. And I'm, I am drawing, keep going just because I know nice. that sometimes working from home and being alone is kind of like, it's tough, especially when you're not used to it. So yeah, yeah definitely. Just like, it's always like important to remember, like it's not always going to stay this way, like, or we can make the best of the situation. So yeah, definitely. I'm trying to figure out. I also I have I have very very little experience with like lockups, like, you know, like taking a bunch of um, words and like placing uh -huh. them all together to look super cool. So I'm like, do I just stack them on top of each other? Do I like? How do I make so, this happen? Usually I use, so I use grids. This time I'm not, I just drew out some lines as kind of like, because I want it to be, I don't want it to be too perfect. So I drew out some lines to kind of just uh, be my guides to where my letters are going to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that's one thing that you could easily do, just draw lines, see what oh, you're going gotcha. okay. to do your letters. And then that really helps, like if you, draw it up draw out those lines and then fill those spaces with letters yeah maybe i will um grab i grabbed like a red and just made like a line and then i'm just gonna go in and put my lines like place my lines mm -hmm. around so that probably also help me um keep everything aligned as far as like i'm not writing words all over the place yeah. um let's see how this goes you are a genius. I feel like this is going to go better already. Great. Yeah. Um, Tom LaRock says, hi from Miami Beach. Welcome in, Tom. It's good to see you. Hi, Tom. Hello, hello. Yeah. Um, I like your new project file. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for, for taking a look. I was terrified posting it. <laughs> so so I'm really glad yeah. um, that you that you dig it. Um that's that's I think that's kind of the theme of today is like um, everybody gets scared um, everybody gets a little terrified when it comes to um, doing um, new work and new things and yada yada but we're really we're really really not as alone as we think we are um, and it's like it's kind of astounding to me sometimes like how much I believe that I am like alone about things when even I like am up here every week like trying to help other people not feel like that like i i come to it sometimes um and i think one thing that's really important to notice is like you can have all the best intentions for what you're going to do and how you're going to perform and stuff and you know mm -hmm. how you're going to be about a certain project but knowing how you ought to be and knowing um you know that maybe you need a little bit of work in certain areas and knowing that you should be positive and knowing you should do this or that knowing those things and like putting them into action um, are sometimes always easier said than done um, and so i would urge everyone to please not forget that like we're only human 
um, unless there's some aliens in chat I don't know about. <laughs> and um, practicing not. what you preach can be hard, and it's okay if it's hard. You know, like knowing what to do and then just like kind of not feeling that confidence and stuff, that's okay. That is a normal, natural thing. Um, so if you, if you find yourself feeling a little meh about stuff, um, sometimes that's just how things are. You can't be perfect every day, 100% of the time. Um, and it's okay when you don't, it really is. Yeah, uh, sure. We all feel this way when posting our work says Tom. Yes. Yes. Preach. Let everybody know. Like it's scary sometimes. I think you probably do get to a point where like you're, um, super, uh, comfortable maybe um with what you're doing maybe it can be a little bit easier um once you have been like working in the industry for 20 years or whatever not that you know the longer you work in the industry the more um invisible your anxiety becomes i think that as creatives like we're always going to have a little bit of, of worry um about things but i think that as you become more experienced um you don't you don't stop being afraid of certain things. I think you start to, um, what's the word and phrase I'm looking for? I think you be, you begin to get better at recognizing what's happening and what you're feeling. So like when I'm at like the quote unquote, like ugly phase of my work, um, it used to discourage me so much that I would stop working on paintings and be like, this is so bad. Um, I'm making such like terrible progress. This is a, this is a failure painting. Um, and then as I started doing more paintings and having like, you know, the ratio of successful paintings to non-successful paintings kind of increased a little bit. Um, I started realizing this painting is not bad. It's just at that phase that doesn't look good yet, you know? Yeah. So then I pushed yeah. through it. Yeah, definitely. So, um, I used to have a really hard time having people watch, like, watch me while I draw. Like, I used to have really, really, like, I couldn't. I'd just mm -hmm. sit there and be like, okay, are you going to, when are you walking away? Yeah. I need to draw now. Please leave. I was the Please, same way. Yeah. Feeling or 100%. Like, yeah. Or, like, I know that, like, I have all these sketchbooks, and at first, my sketchbooks, I would treat them as something that was, like, really precious. Mm -hmm. So, so whenever I would sketch something and it was like, like you mentioned before, the ugly phase, I would just get really discouraged and be like, oh, I just ruined my sketchbook. And mm -hmm. then I would draw it on a like napkin so it could be ugly on the napkin and then draw it better on my sketchbook so my sketchbook could be pretty. And then I was just like, I don't know how I got to that point, but I, like at this point, like I've decided I'm going to use all of my sketchbooks and the and I like having kind of those little messy bits because from sometimes I draw inspiration from those. Even if it, it was like a half, like a half finished thought, I'll mm -hmm. take that and make that into something else. Um, and before I was really missing out on that because I would throw away all like the imperfections or all the little like ugly sketches. And right now, I mean, this is the ugly bit for me. <laughs> it's yeah. not, it's not, um, it's not beautiful yet, but it will be. And I'm trying to be just really relaxed and like, hey, this, you have to get through this before you get to like the really good stuff. I feel that 100%. Um, mm -hmm. that, is, that is so true and so relatable. Um, and I'm sure other folks in chat like can, can really get in on that because um, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a more common thing than like people let themselves uh, uh, like understand. Um, Adari is giving me some Star Wars quotes in the chat saying, this is the way, indeed. We've got a Mandalorian fan in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> um, we get confidence hearing about these same, feeling, same feelings when among our peers. Hashtag you are not alone. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, I'm glad that you enjoy our, our discussion for today. And I really do sincerely hope it, it helps um, other folks who are in the chat um, hanging out. Josh says it's like being on a roller coaster. The first time it's terrifying, but you learn to push through the terror and enjoy the ride. Yes, yes. Um, and also, hi, Josh. I know Josh. Oh, you do, Josh Ryan. Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> hi, Josh. Hi, Salim's friend. Hi, Josh. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I look over and chat, and I I realize that I recognize people too. Um, the other day. Um, I had a cousin in the chat and I looked over and I'm like talking away to her, like, you know, like anybody else. And I was like, then I was like, wait a second. Are you, are you family? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> 
um, Tom is calling the the state of um, of art that we're talking about the messy middle. That is perfect. The messy middle. I like it. I like that. Um, but it's yeah, it is. There's there's a there's a messy middle, um, and you you won't get to like the great like finished point of it unless you allow yourself to. Sometimes I think it 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 can be a little bit weird like because when I first started like trusting the process so to speak it made me it made me feel like I sounded so lame in my head I was like no guys just trust the process man it's it's you know just kind of let it flow I was like why yeah. come on but no seriously like trust the process it's it doesn't matter how like you know Don't inspirational it. poster yeah. you sound it's the truth um but when I first started doing it like trying to just like surrender myself to that I um, was like, okay, well, if I trust the process, how do I know when I'm actually trying to trust the process, but the work really is a lost cause? Like, how do mm -hmm. I figure that out? Um, and I so, think it's, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Don't let me cut oh, you off. Oh, yeah. So here in the, in, in the chat, Mallory says, I think it's important to walk away from your work when it looks bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's a, that's a good one. Um, I think uh, yeah. it's also... Yeah. I just got a. Oh, what's weird, going on? Yeah, I just did like a uh, weird post. What yeah. is this? Hmm. We're still live, I believe. We should still be live. Um, oh, I'm going to type in the Slack because we just got a post. I don't, I don't even know like, where to start. I don't even know where to start. What is this? I think it just hosted a channel while we were broadcasting. Um, okay. Looks like, let's see. Did you drop. Nope. Let's see. I I didn't drop. Nope. Still here. But the hosting popped up. Huh. Still connected on YouTube and everything. It might be a Behance thing. But oh. um, yeah, I'm going to see if... That is, yeah, I don't have a, I thought maybe I, like, what if I hiccuped on the internet side or something, but I am fine. Yeah, so I don't see us anymore, like, I don't see the chat anymore at all. It's completely different. We are still live on YouTube, though, so hello, oh, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> hello, Hi. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Adobe Live. We had a <laughs> slight, looks like we had a slight um, hiccup over on yeah. the, uh, on the Behance side, um, but we are still live. Um, for you guys, um, I'm gonna yeah. see, oh, I'm watching you now, but no chat. Okay. So, so now, um, Sam can see us, um, okay. but there's, awesome. but there's no chat. I still see the other stream that's up. So what I'm I gonna do, too. do, oh, I can see us. Let's see. I can see us in the, no, I can't. I can't. Yeah. That must be a strange beans thing, but either way, um, they will probably still be, um, doing a VOD, um, and there will definitely still be like the full VOD over on YouTube um, because okay. the whole broadcast is going, so we can still chit chat around um, and uh, and do our thing. Where's what's the YouTube link? Um, it's just the Adobe Creative Cloud um, YouTube. I don't. Oh, nice. We don't usually um, like read the chat over on YouTube so that we don't have two different chats to discuss. Um, but since our Behance is down. Um, um, yeah, I'm switching. Oh no, it says like we are live on Behance. There's just no chat. I can't, I can't get back to the to the main thing. But um, yeah. I will just say hello, everybody, and we can just <laughs> chat amongst ourselves until yeah. the chat comes back. <laughs> if we're if we're on Behance, like we can't see the chat. I can't see it, but I can see you, our YouTube selves now. Cool. All right. Well, I am then going to. Um, I'll just let you. Um, maybe Sam, if, if, if folks in chat, like if the chat comes back, um, holler at me on Slack, um, and me and Selena will, um, just hang out, um, here like we have been, um, mm -hmm. and, and nerd out about art. Um, I would love to know, um, Selena, like what is, what is one of your projects that is like your, your favorite, um, that you have done, like a project that, that you feel proud of? A project. Yeah. Makes okay. you feel good. 
well, there's this one. Okay, so there's this one project that I just worked on, and I don't know if I should be sharing it because it hasn't come out. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it secret? Okay, you don't have to. If it's I don't think it's not a secret. It's just, it's just I don't know when they're going to um, when they're going to like everything is going to come out and be put on the website. But I really I got to work with United by Blue and I got to design some shirts for them which is something like I think that's something that I'm really proud of I'm really proud to be a part of that project it's like a like a capsule project that's like a call like um that shows like um solidarity between within the community and all that oh, stuff nice. and it, I I was really excited to work on that project um because I their their, their company they um they're all about sustainability and mm. um, like on their website, it's like for every garment purchased, we, we pick up like a gallon of trash it's from waterways. So the, I, I feel oh, like so cool. things that are more about like helping the environment, helping people, being active um, are, it's just something that I am really kind of like proud of and it makes me feel good. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a, that's yeah. a great, um, a great uh, project to work on and, and be a part of. I um, so so you know just like a, a really good project that you know you're involved in it and so it makes you a part of like the good positive things that are happening there and and you're contributing to something that you're that you're passionate about, which is is really awesome. That's great. Um, I can't wait for it to come out <laughs> so yeah, I can check will, it out. Yeah. So there, I designed. So they, I think they got uh, three artists to do this like. Um, this kind of like capsule kind of like um like a six shirt design mm -hmm. um and i did the first two and then two other artists did the last four and i'm just really excited to see what everyone else got and what everyone else created because um i'm really happy honestly i'm really happy with what i made uh, <laughs> surprisingly no i'm kidding um, <laughs> <laughs> no it's good it's it's i mean don't downplay it because that's a beautiful, wonderful thing to be confident in your own work and be happy, like proud of what you, what you created. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. That's something that I'm really, I was really excited about. Well, that's great. I, I, I did like a, a similar kind of project, um, totally different in, in genre, but, um, I, uh, was involved in an art project for one of my like favorite video games. Um, it's called Darkest Dungeon, and it's like a it's like a um, uh, turn based like RPG, um, and it's spooky. Surprising, I know that I like something that's like <laughs> spooky and creepy, um, but I love the game, um, and I got to do um, twice illustrations for the game company um for one of their um dlc um releases um and then for a second dlc release which was just really really fun um to do and it was cool because i was one of a handful of project or a handful of artists that were reached out to to do like an illustration of different parts of what was going to be in the new release um so i got to see like brand new content like for my favorite game that I had never um like I didn't even like know like the kind of stuff that they were going to be working on but I got to see it um and then I knew that other people who were like in the community of like fellow fan artists for the um for the the fandom they were also getting to see like different parts of the um, project and like new stuff um, but then I didn't know what they were creating or what it was going to look like so I had to like wait for it to come out so I could see all the different like illustrations for the new game content um, and it was it was kind of neat like that I was like I was happy with what I did I was super pumped but I was like but when is it gonna be posted when does everything else come out when can I see when you know um, so it was it was fun it was uh, it was cool that sounds like such a cool project yeah, I was really, uh, I was really pretty stoked to, to be a part of it. I was, I was nerding out like big time. It was like kind of embarrassing. My, like I called my mom. I was like, mom, <laughs> Mac Studios wants me to draw a picture for them. And she was like, who? And I was like, don't worry about it. Just like, I'm excited. And she was like, all right. 
Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny that you say that because usually whenever I get like, a, like, okay. So whenever I, I got asked to be on Adobe live, I was just like, kept my cool. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. Adobe. <laughs> Adobe wants me to be live with them and they want to see my work process it's cool totally cool mm-hmm. but like with my friends I sent them like a private like video on my Instagram and I was like guys I'm so excited I'm going to be on Adobe live what if I forget how to draw <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's such a thing too that's such a big yeah. mood because that's like I was saying like that's how I am like before <laughs> sometimes before I teach the DCCs like I, and I've been, anybody who, I don't know if the, I hope the chat is up or, you know, people are are chilling, but a lot of people who were here today before the chat went down are people who are doing like the daily creative challenges. And I've done so many of these challenges, but every time I'm like, they're like, do you, would you like to do another daily creative challenge? I'm like, yeah, I would love to. That would be amazing. And then like in the back of my head, I'm like, what if I could forget how to use Photoshop? Oh, I think we're back. I think we're back with the chat. Oh, are we? Yeah. We're back on the... Yeah, there we go. Um, Yeah, I always think to myself, like, what if I forget how to use Photoshop? And then they're like, wow, we asked Val to do a a, a challenge, (laughs) a round of challenges, and she forgot Photoshop. What are we gonna do? Like, I don't know, but that's, uh, that's just... It's a thing. You just, I don't know. I like, yeah. It really is a thing or like I started like in my thing notes like I can't have this pain in my chest and I can't breathe like I'm so <laughs> full of anxiety right now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about how that's about I'm how it so does excited it. but also so anxious. Yeah, it doesn't matter how how comfortable you get with a certain thing sometimes like sometimes brain like art brain is just sometimes it's just dumb. Sometimes you just, you know, like you go to to do yeah. what you're doing um and then you you get there to do that thing and you're so worried about it that you know just doesn't just doesn't go man just doesn't go <laughs> but um it's 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 good to it's good to like um at least for me like to know that other people feel the same way because then I'm like oh okay so it makes you feel so much better like I'm not the only one yeah like I'm not I'm I'm not bad in any way like I'm yeah. not you know I'm not doing a bad job I'm just I'm just anxious I'm just you know I'm just having a bit of anxiety and that's okay and that and that's all right yeah and we're back sure. yay yeah, I'm so excited. yay I'm so glad we're back hello <laughs> Um, what's up, Chad? <laughs> also, just so you know, because I know you can't see me, but we were shaking our hands in the air yeah. at the same time, um, and it was like, <laughs> it's like we choreographed it. It was like very, uh, very in sync, very cool. Yeah, we are. We're in sync today. We yeah. are. We really are. We really are. We are. For, we are vibing. Yeah, from our conversation earlier, I was like, yeah, we're totally vibing today. Yes. Um, but I think that's, like, kind of how it's been, like, since I first met you, um, and, like, we, like, talked about the stream and stuff. I was, like, I got out of the, our first meeting, and I was, like, that was cool. She's cool. This is, this is gonna be cool. Yeah, I felt, yeah, I felt the same way. I'm, like, okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. Nice. It really helped me with my nerves. I was, like, okay. Well, I'm very glad, um, because yeah. I, 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 I just get nerves you know I get nerves so often on my own that I'm like ah oh, like I have to I have to do my best to make sure that people don't feel horrified um because I I know what it feels like to be like low-key horrified when you're about to do a new project and I don't wish it upon my worst enemies it's not a good feeling to have. it's not it really, it's, it's not, not good not. Okay, I think I have like my guides and like some some grid lines and stuff kind of worked out um, for this. I don't know if this is what everybody does when they hand letter though. So or like if- I think we all do it differently. I mean, look at mine. I just I have the grid lines now because I'm gonna make you know a lot of the time I get asked how I did that. There's this one piece that I did drawing that says uh, know your power. Uh-huh. And I always get asked. That's like my favorite one. I love that how, one so yeah? much. <laughs> yeah. I need a shirt of it. I'll send you a shirt. Oh my God. I would love a shirt. I would wear it on Adobe. I'd be like, check this out. But okay. So later on, we're going to, we're going to exchange information. Yes. And I will send 
I'll send you one. Oh, I would love that. I'm going to pull it up um, too, by the way. Uh, okay. So while you, you go ahead and, and, and talk and I'm going to pull up what we're talking about because I'm sure everyone's okay. going to be like, what are, what is that? What do you mean? I'm going to show this yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So most of the time I get asked how I did it or what font I used and I have to explain like, oh, I drew it or how did, how did you do it? I'm like, well, I just drew it. I don't know. <laughs> So, I just tried um, to make a thing. <laughs> I just made a thing. So I think it would be good to kind of like draw this in this way, draw this in that way and kind of show people how like messy and like um, the beginning stages are because it yeah. really is just like trying to figure out how to do it. And then once you get into it, like it flows. But um, yeah, I've got it up right now. And it's actually really yeah. cool to see like the finished project of like the similar style next to your sketch on the stream yeah. so this is perfect um but this is yeah this is the know your power and i saw this and i was uh -huh. like oh my gosh this is like like if i could ch if i if i had to become hand lettering this is the aesthetic i would choose this is like so it's like it's like lovely and beautiful but it's also like i'm secretly devious and like super cool and awesome it's like got it's like elegant yet like low-key super villain vibes i don't know why <laughs> it like strikes me that way but it's my favorite colors it's like got this like ghostly like kind of like crazy vibe to it but it's also such a like strong powerful positive message you know so it's like yeah. i just like it i just love it I love it, love it. And this is the t-shirt. Thank you so much. This is the t-shirt so everyone can see like what the shirt looks like. Um, I think it translated so well into uh, a shirt too. Um, yeah. And yeah, very, very well. It looks great. So. I was like trying to figure out, I'm like, I want to put this on the shirt. I just don't know how. And then I thought like it has all kind of like the groovy vibes. I figured I'm going to put this like in a medallion, like yeah. <laughs> the round shape and I think that'll really capture the feel of like the whole you know and the vibe yeah I think it was a an excellent choice I think it looks fabulous Thank you. you're welcome I'm trying to okay, make yeah. so what is let me I, I, let me ask you for some advice um when yeah. when you're hand lettering and you're doing because you're we're actually illustrating like one of the same words here when you're hand lettering and you um have to hand letter um, two of the same letters next to them. Do you make those letters different or do you make them the same? Like, what is your, do you have a personal preference? Does it matter? Or, um, cause like in keep, like, should I be uh -huh. trying to make my, both of my E's like super similar to each other or Okay, so, so, I mean, it really depends on what kind of vibe you're trying to, you're trying to, like, give, uh, sometimes, um, just so that, you know, because with lettering and, um, you, like, most of the time, I try to keep my letters consistent, so, um, I would just do a little lasso around the E and copy and paste and just use the same E. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, or like, or if it's like another letter, I just like copy and paste. So I know that my letters are consistent. If I'm trying to go for that look, I'll just um, make that makes that helps me like make sure that like my letters aren't like too off. Yeah. Anymore. Like everything's kind of um, yeah. got like the same vibe to it at least. And then I guess yeah. if I really want to, I could come in later and like, if I'm like, maybe I'm not feeling the E I can just draw another E yeah if I if I want to okay cool I wasn't sure if there was like secret hand letter protocol um, on, uh, on I mean maybe there that, is but I maybe know. I don't know what I'm talking about Ooh. <laughs> just we, we were just talking about this maybe I, I maybe I don't know oh no <laughs> I thought I knew. Maybe you I sounded don't know. really, really awesome when you were explaining it to me, though. So I'm gonna do what okay, you said. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, okay, do that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's the key. Okay, I I do like actually having the two E's like there. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. I'm proud of my K. I don't know if this is like a. It's such a pretty K. I like it. Thank you. I wasn't sure. I was like, mm, that looks like a fancy hand letterer's K. That looks like I've been doing this for a while. And at first I was going to add more, but I was like, no, leave it. It's perfect. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. It's like... flourishy. Yeah. I like, I like, I like that K. Nice Thank you. Oh. 
Uh, you know what I'm going to do too is I might, because um, I have to do this F, I might actually take a piece of my E's. Oh no, I have this extra E that I made. I'm going to take this E and I'm going to modify it to just be a part of the F, I think. I think that'll work. Because then uh -huh. I can like... Maybe? I don't know. You see, so like right now I'm just trying to figure out where where or how to fit in like these little like smoky kind of like lines. Mm -hmm. So I mean the beginning stages are really really rough. Yeah, and they just look kind of experimental it it feels like it now really, that I'm doing it. Just do it until it feels good. That sounds like a great rule of thumb. Like keep noodling with it um until it feels like you uh kind of are making it happen i guess um i think i think too i guess i really if i if i think about it like i might also be kind of like over thinking it a little bit too because the process also feels a lot like like painting because sometimes people are like oh how do you paint this how do you do um how do you do this? How do you do that? And sometimes I'm just like, I literally just sat down and I didn't know what I was going to be doing. And I was terrified the whole time I was drawing it until the moment it started to look like something. And then I was yeah. like, Oh, thank God I did. I did a thing. Um, so maybe that's, you know, it's, it's a lot more prevalent in other forms of art than I think. Oh, I wonder if I could connect this stem of the R into my O. That might be cool. I'm reading the chat, Josh says poodle vibes. Was that from earlier when we we're like, yeah, we're vibing? Yes, yeah. He was like, <laughs> we're like, we are vibing together right now. This is great. Yeah. Um, he was he was into it. Great. I I'm actually I'm actually like low key proud of myself. I'm um, proud of you. I think it looks I think that R too, I like how it the R kind of mimics the kind of um the stroke on the k and it goes down the way it does thank you i like it i don't think i'll be i'll be honest with you i don't think i've ever done any kind of hand lettering that i have liked this much so um i think it's super like really cool and special that i'm doing this for the first time uh hanging out with you this is kind of neat <laughs> yeah this is yeah i'm so glad you're having a good time doing this I'm having a fabulous time. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I could do, ooh, I might do it in like that. I like it. I like it. I have lettered successfully two whole words. Ta-da! <laughs> Feel good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save. Oh, save your work. If anybody's working alongside us, please save your work. That's a very good idea um, to save one's work. Um, I, I, I sometimes like frequently forget. I sometimes all the time forget to, to save my work when I should. So please do it. Did I, did my dog just bark or was that your dog? I don't know. It could be earlier. My dogs were kind of like freaking out before we started. So I was like, Same. I had like, I didn't know whether I didn't know because my dogs know how to open doors and I didn't know if they were gonna bust in here and just like start howling. So I'm glad they're behaving. I I am like we are like the same person. My dogs do the <laughs> same thing and I have a box in front of my office door right now that's heavier than them, so they won't push it open while I'm streaming. This is great. <laughs> we literally are having we're experiencing the same world right now. <laughs> we really are. Yeah, I was just you heard me earlier when I was like, come on, let's go really let's fast, go. really fast. Go outside, just quickly. Yeah, that's about how I was like just before I got into the meeting with you. I was like, all right, babies, let's go. Now come on inside and go in this room and stay there, please. Stay. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was both. The dogs were vibing too. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. great. We're vibing. <laughs> the dogs are vibing. Chat's yeah. vibing. YouTube and yeah. hands are vibing. Everybody's vibing right now. This is great. All right, oh. can you come 
and work from home. Oh, I can do like the the work from home flourish in the same style, I think. Also, we have just like a handful of minutes before it is time to go. Oh. I can't believe it. I know, so soon already, that's I wild. feel like. Yeah, it, it feels like no time has passed. Um, but that's like kind of the nature of this is that sometimes it really feels um, like, you know, no time. Yeah. Like no time has passed. I feel like we just sat down, but this is, um, this is good. It means we're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. When worlds collide, <laughs> Janice says. <laughs> um, Sam Tompkins says, loving the stream. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for being here and hanging out. Um, I got to click on, I got to click on your, your name, Sam Tompkins, because I got to say, um, oh, wow. What a, what an awesome portfolio. Your, your icon, your user icon caught my eye, like instantly that red against that blue. Um, and I was just like, I got to know what this guy does. That's like how I felt oh, instantly. Oh, this is beautiful, Sam. Yeah, this is cool. That's Sam awesome. from Australia. What time is it in Australia right now? Probably not the time that people usually watch streams. <laughs> I think, isn't Australia like, I think Australia is like, there's like an eight hour difference or something from me. From you? I think, yeah. I, Are you I think. going the other way? I don't know. Are you going? So I don't know going... how that works. I don't claim to be that smart to no, know like we're like calculating where the the things are. But you're I'm in I'm in I'm in Northern California, so Pacific time, and it's like it's, it's about it's almost four from, p.m. Like, yeah. So it's yeah for me and you it's a two hour difference because I'm in I'm in Texas, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Central time. Yeah, I had to whenever you guys sent that the email, I really had to sit down. I made a chart. I was like, okay. Pacific time, mountain time, central mm -hmm. time, eastern time. And I, put, I like wrote down the time you gave me and then like filled it, filled in every little box. And I was like, okay, I know what time we're doing this in my time. Okay. I did the same thing. I go anytime, like I, I ask somebody that I'm going to host, like, you know, what time zone are you in? They're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm like in standard mountain time or something. I'm like, gotcha. Okay. And then I instantly go to the internet and type in like, mountain time to like pacific time and what does it mean and what time is it for them <laughs> yeah. and how, how am i going to communicate so um so Sam says, says it's 9 uh, in 9 the future yeah, that's in the early. future though i bet it's i bet it's thursday for him oh wow. um all right well we have like <laughs> three minutes i can't i cannot believe that three minutes that is wild to me and bizarre um because i feel like we literally just started i um, feel like you needed to um hopefully i'll be able to finish all of this tomorrow <laughs> i i'm usually like um if i don't think i'll finish something i'll like put a little bit of work into it outside of stream oh. um but sometimes it doesn't always work out like that and then i'm like all right guys surprise i'm starting this exactly where i left off yesterday and, <laughs> and then i just try and do it that way <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like this ampersand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for now, um, and then I will pay attention to it later. But I think I think it's probably times time to uh, start saying our goodbyes and stuff. Um, it has been an absolute joy and a pleasure hanging out with you. I gotta say, this yeah, has been really I fun. I feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Odari is saying, "Yeah, Sam is dope." Yeah, we got two dope Sams in the chat yeah. today. We got two super cool Sams. Um, I'm gonna zoom out on my piece here so that everyone oh, can kind of see what I made, um, and we can kind of have ours full screen together. Um, yeah. And I think they look pretty sweet. I think we look very cool on the internet right now. Look how awesome I think we are. So too. Huh. <laughs> hmm. um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a pleasure streaming with you, um, uh, everybody. Um, Selena's Instagram is actually in the description of this video if you guys want to scroll down and um, click on her Instagram and give her a follow um, on social yeah. media. Um, my Behance is down there um, and then I'm also Voodoo Val on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. I'm going to be posting spooky stories all next month. Maybe I'm going to be well, terrified while I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to be scared <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, um, take a look um, at our social media links. Um, and thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, but that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Selena. 
Thank you. I had such a great time today and I can't wait to do this again tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be back. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.